and my light went out. Light just goes out out of nowhere. Seriously? What the hell happened? Oh, there you go. It's getting creepy out here. I'll tell you how creepy. I mean, listen. It's the still of the night. I woke up so you can go to sleep. You're welcome. You're welcome. Guys, what is going on? Okay, we're in Mandibill's castle. Do you understand? He's drunk with power. He's waving my staff everywhere. And despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. Okay, and we got we got Cobb uh, uh, looking over us like a fucking CEO. But guys, we all know that CEOs ain't woe. So here we go, back to the show. It's it's the sleep aid of all sleep aids. Excuse me, I meant to say, this is this is a show designed to help you go to sleep. Okay, so, so here we are. And if you made it this far, <laughs> okay, what are we at? Part Act Six? Is this Act Five? I believe it might be Act Six. Guys, I bring you the conclusion of. Loom. On native hardware. You gotta say it. You gotta say it. This thing doesn't just come out of the house for any old thing. Here we go. Oh, save, load. Oh, come on, baby. Praying this battery works. Oh, look at how reliable. All right, so we're in the cage, right? This my po oh, that's my point. To holy shit, I panicked. All right, so we're in the goddamn cage. What do we do? Open the thing. <sighs> Where's my? But we already did this, right? We already did this. E C E D. God damn, god damn. All right. Oh no, damn it. All right, you guys gotta forgive me. I'm not exactly Prince. Let's get a, let's get a little more volume on this bitch. All right, what are we looking at? Look at this knucklehead. Look at this thing. No. Look at the cage. All right, just to reset the cage. Here we go. Come on. Why does the, the, the controls feel stiff? Come on, E. D. An elusive breed, these weavers. Luckily, they are quite helpless without their weaving sticks. Give me that! You dare raise your voice to His Excellency? That Cobb is a real piece of shit, by the way. Now, now, Cobb, we mustn't be rude to our guest. Not after he was kind enough to bring me such a magnificent gift. Mandible, that this step will never work for you. You are wrong, my arrogant young friend. I'm arrogant. Come on, let me show you why. You are the exalted one, move it. Let me tell you something. Fuck that motherfucker right now. Consider the common graveyard. In a graveyard, the boundary between the living and the dead is indistinct. You weavers say the pattern here is fragile. Thin as gauze. 
Not just here, every graveyard is like that. I suspected as much. Now imagine what might happen if this delicate boundary was somehow breached. Torn open, so to speak. Uh, this guy's monkeying around. Forget it, man, the bowl. You can't just rip a pattern apart like an old rag. Oh, what a face. But I can, I can. All I require is a weaver's distaff and the four threads of an opening draft. Thank you for supplying Bolt so readily. When the boundary is breached, the dead will scream back onto the plane of the living, eager to reclaim their place among us, and I will be waiting for them, ready to offer my vast experience in spiritual leadership. So you want an army of the dead. I shall preside over a teeming multitude of restless shades, immortal, invincible, an army of the dead with myself as the supreme commander. And maybe you can get to the dentist while you're at it. Are those glasses or is that the friggin' hat? I don't know. I still think, think he looks like the guy from Deep Space Nine. Hello, oh, what? an army nourished by the meat of the shepherds, armed with the swords of the blacksmiths, and guided by the sphere of the glassmakers. That's a pretty, pretty clear, crazy pa I was prepared to invoke the death by other, more forceful means. Then the glassmakers delivered my sphere and foretold your convenient arrival. Uh, so you saw all this shit coming, huh, buddy? That is pretty diabolical. Now it shows me the smiths repairing the sword you tried to ruin. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. The age of the clerics will soon be upon us. Cobb, don't let him out of your sight. I won't, Excellency. Look at Cobb with the big fucking chrome dome. I can't help but think we, we saw this before. Oh, ru Lord Mandible, ruler of the universe. Time to change my stationery. No! so dangerous now, are you? <laughs> oh yeah? Wow, look at Cobb. He's a real beauty, huh? Going somewhere, weaver boy. Charming fellow, aren't you? Alright. I think we... Let's look into the future while we're here, huh? I mean... Keep away from that, you! His Excellency said not to touch anything. I wasn't gonna touch it, just looking, that's all. Just looking, huh? Tell you what. If you'll look into the sphere, if you'll let me look at something. Oh. Uh, um, what did you have in mind? Look at this look at this guy. Legend says it's a death to gaze upon upon a weaver's uncloaked. Naturally we clerics pay little heed to such foolish rumors. Still, I'm curious. Oh, he wants to look underneath the cloak. I'll let you look into the sphere if you lift your hood. Deal? No problem, baby. I wouldn't try that if I were you. Why not? There's nothing to fear under that fine robe of yours, is there? If you fear nothing, the 
and you better not touch me. Ah, a riddle. I like riddles. Let's answer this little riddle once and for all, shall we? Alright, this guy's going to forbidden places, I'm telling you right now. Fools! How am I supposed to invoke death with all that screaming in there? say I didn't warn him. Oh, that's it. I guess he got ripped asunder. Let's take a look in the future, huh? Hit, hit me Turbo Graphics 16. Look at this. Uh, uh, what is that? Uh, Westminster Chime? What the fuck was it doing? Oh my god. Thanksgiving dinner? What happened? What else you got in this crazy thing? A feather? Anything else? All right. We All righty. All right, let's go. We got this fucking guy over here. A beast. Looks hungry. All right. All right, you know what we do? We go back. We go out on the balcony for some fresh air. I see Cobb as being lax in his duties. No matter. Just in time to witness the draw, the dawn of a new era. You don't know what you're doing, Mandible. The pattern was worn enough already. If you rip a hole in it now, spare me your weavers, mistresses, M. No more shall the dead envy the living. Oh shit. This guy's off his rocker, man. Holy crow, it's the fucking black hole sun, man. <sighs> wow, you must have opened everything within 50 miles of here. Including the eyes of the dead. Behold! Oh shit. Look at this, guys. We're summoning the dead here. I have a very bad feeling about this. Look at the graphics. Who dares desert, disturb the peace of those who sleep? Greetings, double spirit. I am the Bishop Mandible, trans ultimate apostle of the astro secular conclave of clerics. Who have I had the honor of summoning? I am chaos. Oh shit. Join me. Oh, whoa, he got eviscerated. Did you see his head fly off? I see it's been too long since my last visit. Oh, this guy fucked up big time. Give me this, this staff. Can't seem to hold on to this thing. Oh, that was a joke. Okay. All right. Jeez, I don't know what to do now. Jump off the ledge? Can't do nothing here. Oh, let's... Maybe we gotta check the sphere again. 
I, I'm a little beguiled right now. I'm not really sure what to do. Oh, you gonna show me another cooked fucking chicken? Oh, the cage is open. Oh shit, there's the beast. Oh shit. Yikes! Mullion. We just fell into a black hole. Guys, look at this shit. Can you believe this shit? We're floating in the air. Look, there's a big hole. Another rip. We're into the, is this into the dimensional time travel, guys? Go in the hole. Look who it is. Well, 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 look who's here. Oh, Rusty! My old pa pal, Bob and Threadbare. Rusty, this is awful. How did it happen? Yeah, Rusty died. Well, Bob and old buddy, I think some it went something like this. I'm lying here minding my own business when this strange new kid shows up and decides he wants to s switch my clothes with me. That would be us. I figure, hey, so what? Have a little fun, right? We can always switch back again later. So this kid walks away looking just like me. Fine, only one problem. The kid, look at his face. The, the kid forgets to mention that he has a 40 foot dragon out to get him. And what happens when that very same dragon sees me lying here? Looking just like you? Poor Rusty. He got a bed. I don't know what to say. Anyway, I ended up like this, dead. So I go outside to wait for doomsday like a good little ghost. And what do you suppose happens then? No. Some idiot rips the universe apart and hauls us back inside. A lot of dead ones are really upset. That's understandable. In fact, some of them have decided to take over the world. Starting with my hometown. Alright, so the dead are back above the living. They're fucking shit up. Guys, the music, huh? Am I here to tell you? Okay. Let me find a heal spell. I know we have it. Healing A G G A. GGA. You did it! Oh shit, Rusty's alive! You brought me back to life! That's what you want, isn't it? You can bring people back? From the dead? You were hurt, I healed you, that's all. I guess I ought to thank you. Don't, it's my fault anyway. Can you come with me, Bobbin? I gotta find out what happened to the rest of my guild. I don't have time for this shit, buddy. You see fucking all the hole ripped in? Sorry, I have to do the same. Good luck, though, and be careful. Rusty. You too, good luck, my friend. All right, listen. You gotta take care of these things. Let's go back out, back out into interdimensional travel, shall we? All right, 
I think we gotta shut this one down. No, don't go in, stupid ass. Stupid ass hole. Go back in, you, you dumb dingbat. Alright, come over here. Alright, oh, I'm just gonna point to the hole. Don't go through it. Yes. Okay, I think we gotta heal the hole. A, G, G, A. Alright. Because we simply can't have holes in space time around here, guys. Somebody could fall in. Alright, go in there. Where are we heading now? It's like this is your life. Oh shit, we're back back where the shepherds are. Oh no, what happened? What happened, big guy? Stop moving! Shepherds. Oh shit, they're all dead. Never had a chance. You're too late, wizard! The dead increased their numbers here. My song's useless. Those few not killed the suffering. At least we can end this misery. Extend your powers if you can. I'll extend my powers when I heal these bitches. Hold on. A G G A. See that? Fleece, what happened? We were overrun. You were saved by the mercy of the younger boy. His power has grown since last we met him. Yeah, these are the scumbags. They gave me a hard time. Shepherds have long memories, wizard. I shall not forget your kindness. Come before the dead ones return and reap us again. Yeah, have a nice fucking day. God damn you. How do we get out of here? See, you, you don't forget. Why don't you try helping me out? Do you know a spell or something? You goddamn. What's this? Another hole we gotta shut? A G G A. You know, you think I could have got an extra letter for helping those scumbags. All right, we'll just uh, float through uh, infinite time here. All right, where are we, where are we going back to the crystal? Crystal jerk. Go inside the hole. Wow. Somebody got bucked down. Oh my god, this is brutal. Look at this. It's good mold. Somebody shot him in the head. Master Good Mold, are you hurt? Ah, Weaver Boy, re return. You at least have escaped the attention of the dead ones. Crystal Guard, not so fortunate. I don't understand. Look at me, you dummy! You're the keepers of the Great Scythe. Why didn't you use it? Oh my god, is this guy gonna drop dead in my arms? I can't wait. What is he saying? Never doubted that the Scythe could save us. Even the dead would have fallen in the wake of its wrath. Oh, but to unleash such merciless evil would make us as cowardly as they. Oh, well, that's quite a philosophy you got there, buddy. So, so the fucking most evil death comes and takes it. We wish not to become like our enemy. So we stayed at, we stayed our hand and we knew the price. Can I do anything? 
Remember us, my friend. Oh, he's dropping dead. Tell the world we found the courage and chose death with clarity. Above all else, clarity. Oh my god, you witnessed it here. A person dying in video games and then body disappearing. For what reason? I have no idea. Why did he disappear? Yeah, well, I guess, all right. Peace out, bro. He was a good dude, that green mold. Hold on. We gotta seal up the hoe. Shut your yapper. Perfect. No, this way. Hey. A threadbare. Come on. Why are you going back? Why are you going back? Stupid ass. I know I'm not fucking going crazy here, right? We have to go this way. Why is it? Where are you going, Bobbin? Bobbin, 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 you're going opposite the direction of, oh, are we going the wrong way? Maybe we got to go all the way to the right. I don't know. I sealed up all the fucking holes. All right. Were we supposed to seal this one? No, 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 no. Let me try sealing this one. Oh, snap. Oh, what do we get? What do we get? B? We got B, baby. All right, now where do we go? Now we can go to the left? Fly me to the moon and let me walk among the stars. Doubt, doubt, doubt. Now we're getting somewhere. I know we're going halfway across the known universe here. Oh my god. Keep going, bonehead. Keep going. Keep going. Oh my god, we did it. I don't know how we did it. It's, uh, yeah, go there, buddy. We've been expecting you, Bobbin. Welcome. Where am I? What is this place? Outside the pattern. Home of the dead and those transcended. The shore of wonder? Yes, Bobbin, and you are the first to behold it with mortal eyes. Wow. All right, let's see what this bitch can do. Oh! Where is it? I can't, I can't see it. You, you must have many questions, Bobbin. I can answer some of them. Yeah, where's the whorehouse? You're a swan that came to visit me on my birthdays, aren't you? Oh, is this my mom? You saw me clearly then. I was never quite sure. The elders forbade me to set foot on Loom Island, but they said nothing about flying over it. Once a year, I managed to gain enough strength to pass inside for a few brief moments. Those are the times that you saw me.
You are wondering why I should bother to visit you at all? And only on your birthdays? Call it a mother's curiosity. It's my mommy! For that is who I am. Look at the little guys. Look at it doing it big time. Right. She was banished for bringing an unseen infant out of the loom. Me! 17 years ago. I've missed you, my son. Liar! My mother is buried in the cemetery. I visit her gravestone every day. Petchel's doing, no doubt. She and the elders put that there so you wouldn't ask too many questions. Petchel vowed to protect you forever. She loves you very much, Bobbin. But I fear her love has driven her to recklessness. What do you mean? Where is she? She has set off for the island and the loom sanctuary. The dead ones are right behind her. Who knows what havoc he might wreak. Oh shit, no, their leader knows of the path of the loom's powers. If he learns secrets of the pattern itself, will be his to manipulate. Oh boy. Sorry about my reading. Jesus Christ. Petzl hopes to reach the loom before him. She intends to destroy it. Oh guys, shit's going down on Loom Island. We gotta get there. If chaos doesn't consume her first. No, I have to get back there. You won't get far in that direction. The loom lies beyond the lake. All right. Let's crank this thing up. Oh, beyond the lake. Maybe on this side. And uh -uh. Oh, shit, there it is. Entra, entra. Oh shit, look at the graveyard. Wow. Awesome. Should we close it up? Oh guys, I don't know if we should close it up. Maybe we should close it up. No! Okay. I guess we can't close it up. Alright, I'm not arguing. As we're back on Loom Island, how crazy is this? Oh shit, there's the blacksmith's fucking shop. Oh, they sent us right back to the elders, let's go. We gotta save the loom, everybody. Maybe you can walk a little faster this time. Oh shit. Let's, let's check out the loop. C F G C C F G C Those are the same four threads the swan spun on the elders. They're still echoing in the loom. C what was that? C CGFC? Eek, look out! Oh shit, it's Hatchel. Oh, she's being chased by death. Uh-oh! Bobbin, get your distaff ready! Mother Hatchel? There's not a moment to lose. This guy's gonna fucking kill me. You must unmake the loom now, Bobbin, before the dead ones take control. How? I don't know what draft to spin. It's just as well, young weaver. 
Birds and children have no business wielding such power. Oh, that's that guy. Oh, never mind. My information told me all the weavers had fled. I see they were mistaken. Destiny has been kind, my young friend. You will live past your own guild secrets to others more worthy of the knowledge. In return, you will be allowed to serve my new empire as advisor. Naturally, I expect your full cooperation in this historic exchange of goodwill. Anything less would risk harm to our relationship. Listen to him, Bobbin. The threads to unmake the loom are... Oh, that's right, Westminster Chime. Hatchel, Hatchel, what's the matter? Say something. What did you do to her? Do not approach too closely, Weaver. I lose patience easily in the proximity of inferior beings. You will now instruct me in the use of that fascinating instrument. Over my dead body? Preference noted. All right. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm not sure what to do now. Something to Hatchel? Make back into person? Hold on a second, let me check my list. We gotta cast something on Hatchel. Okay, uh, we're in a bit of a pickle here. Let's go to the Lumi. Oh, let's go to him. Do not approach too closely, Weaver. Okay, he's off limits. B A G F. Okay, what if we reverse that on Hatchel? F G A B. Thank goodness, I can talk again. Okay, we used unsilence on her. Oh boy. Unmake the loom bobbin quickly! Oh shit. Uh, how do I unmake the loom? I need the threads, Mother Hatchel. Tell me what floor to use. Ducks meant to be eaten, not heard. Oh shit. He just roasted Hatchel. Oh my god. How do I turn her out of a roast? How do I turn her out of a roast? B A B A A B A B? I can't believe this is gonna work. Is this gonna work? Oh shit! Be gone from this chamber, evil one! The loom shall never be yours! This boy holds the power to destroy it. I do? Shh! Close your eyes now, little bobbin, but keep your ears open! Here descends the third shadow. What's going on? She's a feather now?
A, f a feather now? What do I do now? Take the feather. Hatchel's feather, it's still there. Now what? So it is, young weaver. I shall keep it as a souvenir of our encounter. Put the feather down. You leave that feather alone. Make me, ha ha ha. All right, scum of the earth. We're hitting the loom again. I don't know what's gonna happen. B, A, B, A, B, A, A, B on this cocksucker right here. Don't approach too closely, Weaver. B, A, A, B. Where's the feather? I'm not really sure what to do. We can't approach him. We gotta cast something on the loom to wreck this bitch. How about A, B, B, A, no. I know that isn't a draft. A, B, B, A? Come on. No, stop casting it like that, you moron. All right. We got to look at the B, A, A, B. That's what, that's what we're doing. We're going to do B, A, A, B. Oh my, you, you think hydrogen bombs are dangerous? You know what I just did to this loom? Do you hear? You hear the processor? Oh shit. Talk about throwing a wrench into the works. Whoa! Holy moly. Bobbin, you did it! You did it! The loom is unmade beyond the evil's reach. Ignorant fools, what have you done? None of us can pass across the rift you weavers mischief has so blindly created. The pious meddling has foiled my dream of eternal empire bound together under one rule. Mine! The dead one is correct, my son. Your final draft tore the pattern in half. That's good. That's good. This is a sad fate indeed for the innocents trapped on the other side. Oh well. However, it is also a chance for, for we on this side to begin a second pattern cleansed of wickedness. It's kind of fucked up. Come, it is time for us to weave our destinies anew. That's brutal. What about Rusty? But we can't just abandon half the universe. What about Rusty? I fear we have no choice. Until our side of the pattern is mended, we cannot return to the other. Take your rightful place among us now. Oh shit, we got C. We got C. Oh shit, and what do we do now? Do we turn ourselves into a, a fucking... This guy over here. The dead one. Turn him into a swan? Or do we do something over here? Leaving soon, young weaver boy? Oh, he scythed me! That evil son of a bitch. Did you see him throw the scythe?
Oh no! Wow, guys, we are. This is crazy. What do I do now? Oh, me. Me, I'm going to turn me to a swan. Can I turn me to a swan? Myself. Oh my God, guys, this religious experience. What was turned to swan again? Turn to swan. Turn to swan. C, F, G, C. C F G C Oh, I'm a Schwanny! Fly away while you can, Weaver boy! One day we'll meet again! Bobbin, it's time. All right, I'm out of here. Wow. Oh, come on, man. Super CD. Look at that. The tear in space time, we carry it away. This is a, guys, this is an epic game. What an epic game. There we go. Wow, what, what fan service, huh? You kidding me? They're taking us back on a, a trip down memory lane now. What's next? We go past the. Yep. Look at this. The blacksmith's place. Rusty, what up, kid? Go back to sleep, buddy. Illustrated by Mark Ferrari. Wow, you did a great job, Mark. I'll tell you that right now. Character designed and animated by Gary Winnick and Steve Purcell. Thank you, Gary and Steve. M -m 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 -m. Guys, that's the conclusion. I mean... Good. Doesn't it feel good, guys? Come on. It feels great. I'll tell you that right now. Pam, turn off, please. Thank you. I don't, do I, do I got to use the off spell on you? Well, guys, I hope you got some restful nights, and I hope you enjoyed this little journey that I'm, I'm sad that it's over. We're gonna have to do Beyond Shadowgate next. I don't know, you tell me what you think. Good night, everybody.